Hello again guys, welcome back to my channel, the Beer Monster Reviews, hope you're all having a great day. It's definitely Beer Monster O'Clock. Uh, and we've got another Polish beer review for you here. It's Perla, it's called Perla. Uh, there's a little close up look at the can. I quite like the uh, look of this can, little picture of uh, hops there. Uh, no idea what to think about this beer, never tried it, never seen it. Picked it up from the Polish shop, £1.49. It's a 500ml can. I believe it's a pills now because it does say uh, Perla Pills. Um, and it's 6% ABV, which I thought was quite interesting. It's quite high ABV for a pills now. I don't think I've tried a pills that strong. Um, so yeah, I'll see what it's like. The other Polish beers I've tried have been pretty good. So uh, let's see if this one uh, is good as well. Crack it open and uh, get going, shall we? See what sort of aromas we get from this. That way I'm getting like a grassy, hoppy, oh, sort of aroma. But it hasn't got much aroma. Again, it's a lager. They don't really have much aroma, do they? And a slight sweetness. Could be sweet malts or something else in there. Yeah, that's about it, really, to be perfectly honest. Um, as you know, lagers don't have much, oh, much aroma. <laughs> All right, let's get it in the glass. Got pills in the glass here as well, to give it every chance. Straight away, compared to the other two, I'm liking the head, because the other two Polish lagers I tried, the head just dissipated within 30 seconds. And uh, the tiny, they only had a tiny head to start with, so this one looks a bit more uh, like it to me. Proper size head. Very nice, brilliant white head. Um, it's a lovely, light golden color. Um, that slightly hazy? No, I don't think it is hazy. I think it's just like the cold from the glass. Um, here's a close up of the beer. Lovely carbonation in this. This does look like a lovely pint, I must say. Um, yeah, it's a nice light golden color. The uh, that carbonation, the way it's swirling, really does look nice. Yeah, I'm looking forward to giving this one a try. Oh, for I forgot how to say cheers in Polish. I've written on a video yesterday. Oh, never mind, guys. I'm just going to say cheers uh, in English. <laughs> Keep forgetting. Uh, let's see what this is like. I really like this one. It's got a nice flavour to it, this one. I think I might prepare, prepare, prefer it to the uh, other two uh, Polish beers I tried the last uh, in the Polish week that I'm doing. Let's go again. Mm. Got a light, a light to medium mouthfeel. I'm getting kind of like a raisin -y taste. Uh, maybe, I think it is raisin and honey. Mmm. A slight warmth from the alcohol. It's 6% ABV, but it's a really nice uh, warmth actually. These Polish lagers, there's something really clean tasting about them. And perhaps the water you use over there is better. There's something very really clean about them. Let's go again. It's quite sweet. I'd say malt dominated, sweet malts. A little bit bready. There is a hoppiness in there on the back end. A slight dryness with the hoppiness on the back, that grassy kind of hops. I do, I'm enjoying this one. I, I do prefer this over the other two I tried. Um, just think this is more just, <clears throat> more to my taste, you know. It's a nice strength as well.
very crisp, very clean, refreshing. This is a really nice pilsner, this one. I'm enjoying this. I definitely think this one's worth a buy. Let's get that in there as well. And I've got to say, um, I'm glad I'm doing this poll this week because so far um, I've not had any what's called bad beers. I, I think they've all been like mass reduced. Fair enough. And you know, they've got higher scores, but I'm only comparing them to other lagers. And most of the other lagers I've tried are watered down lagers to get here in the UK or watered down versions of lagers that are different in the, the country they come from for example Stella is 4.6 in the UK and um, our version of Stella it is not the same as the Belgian version of Stella because I tried that the important ver imported version it was much nicer um, so these imported beers you can tell they're just not been messed about with I like this, that kind of raisiny honey sweetness in this. Like a kind of like dark fruit cakey sort of taste. Almost a little bit like a ruby beer. Again, sort of like a, yeah, some sort of slight taste that you get from a ruby beer, but it's nice, it makes it different. Uh, it's definitely different tasting to other Pilsners I've tried this. I'm enjoying it. It's nice to have something a bit different, you know. A lot of beers are quite similar, uh, particularly lagers and pilsners. So that's good. I'm going to have one more go and give it a score out of 10. I think it's a cracker. For a mass produced, I presume, pilsner, it ticks all the boxes for me. Might be too strong to session for some. I probably wouldn't session this. Personally, I'd just enjoy a couple of these, I think, and then move on to something else. But this is a really nice beer. It definitely won't be the last time I have it. I'm going to give it an 8.9 out of 10. Yeah, it's a cracker, this one. Just being a bit awkward there. Um, <laughs> but no, this is really good. So cheers, uh, guys, for suggesting the uh, Polish... Uh, try more Polish beers, because uh, I'm certainly enjoying it. And... Uh, don't forget to smash that like button. If you've enjoyed this video, check out my other videos. And uh, consider subscribing to the channel. That would be most appreciated. And it'll make it easier for you. So you get notified if I make a new video and all that sort of thing. Uh, anyway, see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye, uh, darlings.